So let me just make sure that my computer is new. I'm gonna echoes. And we are live. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs. I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful Christmas surrounded by their loved ones. And we are looking forward towards 2020. Yes, you guys, we have come to the end of another year. So this is gonna be my last live stream for 2019. And I thought what better way than to set sail onto bigger and better dreams. And so that is the theme for today's project, you guys. I'm just gonna give everybody a few minutes to kind of get themselves here. I'm gonna continue to clean out some of these um, die cuts that I'm gonna be using to decorate um, the little makeshift sailboat that I created, I did so. I did do this off of um, you know off of the camera just to kind of get myself ready. I'm almost done with these. I think that these are actually pretty okay because I've been cleaning them for a little bit. Um, so you guys, let's wait for that guy to get to where he's going. <laughs> we have some die cuts for today. We're also going to be using this little makeshift uh, little boat thing that I made out of cardboard box. Basically, I just did two uh, bowl shapes and I cut a strip in the center, hot glued it all together because it is cardboard and I know I'm going to be using paints and mediums and sprays and things like that. I did give it a layer of triple thick, which is this product right here, just to kind of seal it all up. Hello, hello, Tanya. And Marcy, if you're watching this, Merry Christmas to you as well. Thank you so much for stopping by. <laughs> so I gave it a quick coat of triple thick and I sealed the inside and the outside again because I knew that I was going to be using like paints and sprays and inks and all kinds of wet mediums and stuff like that. So I just wanted to make sure that my cardboard wasn't just going to fall apart. So I put it everywhere, let it dry. After I did that, I went ahead and gave it a quick coat with uh, Everlasting, which is a chalky finish acrylic paint by DecorArt. <clears throat> all we're going to be doing to this is we're going to be adding these die cuts. That's why I have these four. I pulled out all the ones I had. I had to see which ones were good, which ones were not. Um, I'm thinking about incorporating these little, um, oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys know what they are, right? Lighthouses. <laughs> I almost forgot. I'm like, oh my God, when I found them. Um, so I found these two little chipboard pieces in my stash. Um, I did a project at the beginning of this year sometime, I think during the summer or last year at some point. Um, and it had these beautiful little lighthouses in the background, but in a bigger scale. So I had these smaller ones. I'm thinking I'm gonna incorporate those as well. <laughs> um, so basically I also found these um, strand of like flat bags. And this is from Mona Migabi, okay? And that's monamigabi.com. And I got those. Also, I have this trim in my stash for quite some time. And I thought that it represented water. This is kind of what got the whole thing kind of going. Um, I thought it kind of represented just like the motion of water, the waves. Um, and also the color itself, you know, kind of helps it a little bit. So I'm going to be using this trim up to create my water in my project today. I created a little makeshift sail. Basically, I just drew a little like fin shape and I just curved it out a little bit to give it that little space between the pole and where this is going to be resting. And it's just a fin shape. And this is going to be um, what I'm going to be using for the sail. I messed up my brush <laughs> the other day. Um, yeah. <laughs> Remember, you guys, I always tell you that it's going to turn into a silicone brush. <laughs> yeah, mine's turned into a silicone brush, you guys. Um, and so usually I'll use this for other stuff. Um, but for this one, I, I'm actually thinking that I can use this and I split it down the center. Look how hard it is, you guys. Um, and this is from Mod Podge. This is what Mod Podge does to your brushes when you leave them to dry and don't clean them. <laughs> um, so I split it down the middle and um, I'm thinking that I'm going to glue this into the bow in the center. Somewhere in there. Kind of got got to give it a little bit of a flex. So I'm going to hot glue this in the center somewhere. So it's going to be something like that. And then we're gonna have the sail, something like that. Like this is gonna be really large, like height wise. Um, and then again, this is gonna be like our water. Like <laughs> I also found this little um, tail mold. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be using this one right here. So I'm gonna put that away. I found this little dolphin chipboard, which I think I can use, and it kind of matches the lighthouse aesthetic. So. In my flow, in my flow. And then I found some of these little broken ones. They're all messed up. 
I find like all these little um, broken pieces, but they're all kind of sea themed. So I'm going to see how I incorporate them in there, um, you know, between the waves, like they're kind of floating up or something. So I got a few of those. I didn't think to make any more molds. So I'm just going to use up what I have left over. That way I can make a fresh batch and start the new with the, the new year with some fresh ones. And um, basically, and I found a little face, so I'm going to see how I incorporate that. Although she's got a little hole in her eye. <laughs> so I'm going to see about how I fix that. But um, anywho, that's what we got. That's what we're working with. And a little flower, but I don't think I'm going to use the flower. It's not see things. Um, and so <clears throat> you guys know that I bought a whole bunch of these canvases. These are from Dollar General. And I bought these on clearance. This is part of their fall clearance. And they're basically shadow box style. So I went ahead and gave it a quick coat again with the um, Everlasting from Deco Art as a chalky finish. Um, I like it. It's almost like a gesso. If you're going to use it kind of to cover up, you just you just have to give it maybe a coat or two, um, depending on how thick you lay it out. So I'm going to go and I already got my glue gun heated up. And I'm going to start kind of gluing this in place because um, I have to paint this. <clears throat> and basically, I'm going to start kind of pushing them in to each other. Um, and just creating kind of motion, even though it's got a lot of motion. And I'm going to cover the whole entire inside of this with this fabric here. Let me just put all of this, all of the goodies inside back in the boat. Let's put this over there. We don't need this for right now. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Just add a little bit of hot glue there and just kind of start laying it in there and just kind of group it in as best as you can. You want that texture because once we start adding the, like the white paint and the other things that we're going to be adding, like it's going to look super cool. It's going to have a lot of dimension. It's going to have a lot of texture on it. So just kind of crunch it in there. And we're not going to do all of them as tight. Some of them we are, some of them we're not. And I'm going to leave some space because, again, I'm going to be adding some other items in between um, some of the fabrics. So we're just going to do that all the way around, all the way till we get to the bottom. Hopefully, I have enough. Definitely got enough glue sticks. I bought some today. <laughs> And remember, we're going to be sticking the sailboat in here, so you don't have to necessarily cover the whole entire um, inlay because the boat can go, like, right there. And this is just basically using up some of the scraps and just DIYing it the rest of the way. Those are the sharp scissors. <clears throat> Give me a second, you guys. And I'm going to add this other piece. I'm just fill in some of these little areas here and there.
And then this is gonna look super cool once it's all done. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Getting it in there now. Almost done with this part of it. Let's see. Let's just add that little bit right now. Nope, let's add that little bit right there because that little whole bit right there looks so empty. Let's put that right in there. We're gonna leave this space right here to kind of um, add a little sailboat. We're gonna add a little sailboat like right in there. So that should be basically perfect. So let's go ahead and grab some of these little pieces that I have here. And like I said, we're just gonna basically glue them in. Glue them in between like everything. Let's go right here. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, like that. Gotta figure out how you want to place them, you know? Okay, let's go ahead and add this little tail. Right in here somewhere. Okay. And let's just add a little bit of glue right under it. Just to kind of brace it a little bit. Give it um, some support. Let's glue some of that fabric right there and cover that tail up. So you don't expect to see the rest of her body or his body or whatever the case may be. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and add some of these other ones on the other side because this is going to be um, viewable from every angle. That's why I wanted to do it like this because this is actually, you can actually sit this down on the table and just leave this as it is and have like a nice little centerpiece. Um, so that's basically the idea behind it. Instead of hanging it on the wall to be able to kind of just put it on a table. I just wanted to be able to, um, let's see, just add a few little things here and there. And we're going to be painting all of this white. And we're going to start adding some of our other colors in here. Put that there. And I think it's going to come out beautiful once it's all done. I love sea theme projects. <laughs> I always have the most fun when I work with anything sea themed. Let's see, we have a little octopus there. So, again, these are broken already. So, I just want like little things to kind of poke out. But I wanted to hide the broken pieces, like the broken parts. This is just using up everything. That way, there's no waste. I'm going to break that little piece off. I'll stick that little tentacle from somewhere. I'll stick it, you know, I'll stick it out from somewhere. Um, let's see. Maybe around there somewhere. It was already broken, you guys. So no worries there. I have to somehow raise its head. It was one of these little pieces. There I go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I think this is gonna look so cute. <laughs> yes, I think so. I think so. I think so. I think so very, very much. I love it so far. I'm loving it. And you can't claim this one, Tanya. <laughs> you already got one coming to you. Let's see. All right, so I like that, like that, right? I think that is really nice. Ow, 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 ow. And these pearls, I don't know if I should hot glue them now and paint over them as well. But I think I'll do that at the end so that they can stay as they are. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add like um this trim right here all around the edges, you know, where, where, wherever I can. Maybe I might have to heat set that later and um do that but i'm gonna use that for that so i think we're good with this i want to use this face on the actual boat itself so we'll see got a little face here where can we put your little face not a little face um <laughs> little seashell little seashell where can we put your little seashell right there right there a little token of something something right yes all right so <clears throat> Let's go ahead and move this stuff to the side. And let's basically give this a nice little paint of white. Everything, everything white. And this is chalky paint again, you guys. I'm going to paint everything white. We're going to incorporate our blues back in. And we're going to see what kind of effects we're going to get from that. Once I do that and I heat set all of this, then I'll glue the um, sailboat and all of that stuff back on um let's see i don't need to worry so much about painting the actual little pieces because they're white already we want to focus on whatever the fabric is that needs painting And I have more. I just want to finish that bottle up before I start using the other one. <laughs> this guy, he's all the way over there. Okay, there we go. The fabric was stuck there. The most relaxing parts of the day. is when you get to add the paint. I'm gonna have to pull the other one out. But let's use up all of this first. Let's use up all of this first. And we are definitely going to be using some galaxy paints in this one, you guys, because my oceans are special oceans, you guys. They sparkle. <laughs> They're going to sparkle with galaxy glitter everywhere. All right. That's not the one. Where is this? Where is it? Um, give me a segundo, you guys. Let me pull the white paint out. I have to go through them, you guys, because I have all my colors separated, but I have them in the individual drawers. Where the heck is it? I guess I'm gonna have to use this one then. It's taking too much time for the other one. So let's just keep doing that. This one is do, 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 gloss enamel. So it's gonna be a little bit glossy in some areas. It's gonna have like a little bit more sheen. Then we're gonna dry this up. 
And we're gonna start to incorporate um, colors into it. Let's see, is this still on? Let me type that in there. Let me help it out. Let me help it out. Okay, I think that's good enough with the white because I don't mind it having some of that teal in there. I think that teal looks kind of, you know, pretty. Thank you, thank you for the love. Just so I know, I don't want to have just so I, I actually want to keep some of the blue in there. Um, that's why I didn't use the just so on it. I think that it'll absorb a lot of the ink a lot better because it's still, you know, the fabric is mostly, um, Still vulnerable to absorbing all of that ink and all of those colors. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see how it's gonna go. Let me dry this up real quick and we'll see what else we need to do. As far as that. I got paint over here. Let's dry this up. That's a little bit more of a deal of what's happening in here. Very dimensional. Don't get stuck with the dryer. Always keep it moving around. We don't want it to be too, too dry because, again, we're going to be adding color to it. So the first color that I'm going to start adding to it is actually this Legacy Blue, again, in the chalky finish. Okay, I'm also going to get some darker colors as well. Like, for instance, let me get it. <laughs> I didn't, you know, you guys know how I am. I never prep for these things, right? So um, we're going to do the C and all of the colors that are going to go in the C first. And then we're going to work on the sailboat, you guys. Um, I also, I'm going to use definitely, always and forever, some ice blue, the metallic. Totally need that. Um, we're going to also need, let's see. Do, do, do. No, 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 no. Not that one, not that one. Uh, maybe some inheritance in the chalky finish. Okay, that'll be like my yellow, yellow ish color. You guys know I gotta incorporate some green in there, right? So for the green, I'm gonna use this one. It's called New Life. If it's still good, we'll see. I'm trying to use up some of those paints before they go back. So we're just going to start adding kind of like a whole bunch of colors. I'm going to start adding water and things like that in here. And we're just going to start basically playing. I'm just going to add some of that in there. Then I'm also going to add a little bit of this legacy. And you know I got to add some of this metallic in there. So we're going to go ahead and add that as well. And then we're going to reincorporate some of that white. And just kind of drizzle it all over the place. Let's add some more. Let's see. <laughs> <Not anymore. laughs> oh, wait, that's ever. 
All right, let's go ahead and add some water to this little teeny tiny bottle. It'll be a little bit easier for me to control. That one's too squishy. It takes too much air. There we go. Call this one the dowser. Okay. I just basically start trying to move some of that color. Don't move it around too, too much. Just kind of gently let it kind of, you know, mix and mingle. We'll be able to go into some of these pieces a little later on and just give them more color so that they can pop up. Right now, if you paint over them, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You're basically giving them a base to start off with. So, you know, A, okay. <laughs> sure, it gets into everything. I guess I will pop them under it so it doesn't keep banging. <laughs> you get that all into them fibers. Then we're going to dry this up and then we're going to go into it with some other colors and start bringing the sea to life. You don't have to cover up all of your white areas because again, you need foam, you know, there's all of that happening in, in the sea. So you're okay with a little bit of all of that. So let's go ahead and dry that up as best we can. Does it look like the tea? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a hot little minute. Not too long, though, not too long. It's already almost dry. Because I don't need it to be completely, completely dry. I just need it to be, you know, dry enough so that I can keep going to the next step. It's gonna dry better overnight. But at least I can, you know, keep adding stuff. Keep adding stuff to this. All right. So we've got that kind of going for now. We're going to do the rest of the frame. So we're going to totally frame this whole thing out. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate the same colors so that I can just kind of go around that frame a little bit. I can get this thing to open. Here we go. So we're going to put a little, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit on each side, basically. I'm going to do the same thing with the next color. Just basically add a little bit. One on each side. There should be more than enough paint. You don't want to over blend it. You want to be able to see most of, you know, the color that you've got going on here. So if you could keep it in one stroke directional, that'll be even better for you. Solid colors is fine, but once you start um, bringing both the colors together, you don't want to go back and forth. You just want to kind of 
bring it all the way out in one stroke. Just gonna use whatever's left in the brush here to go along the sides. I'm gonna heat set this real quick. Well, maybe we need a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit here, a little, little dot right there. Maybe just a tiny little dot. Of, I forgot to use the yellow. Maybe I'll add some of the yellow in now. Maybe I'll leave the yellow for something else. We'll see. So again, just keep it in one direction. And you'll get more of the you know, both the colors. I like how that looks. I think that looks really nice. Really, really nice. So we're going to put this to the side for right now. And we're going to start working on our boat. Well, give us a little bit more time to, you know, continue to dry. Let me clean my brush. Let's put this to the side. And let's start working on our boat. But I do like how it's coming out so far, as far as the colors. Sides. I like how it's coming out so far. So let me move some of this stuff over here. Again, we have the face that I totally want to use. We have the little sail. We have the little brush. And I want to put a few of these on here and paint over it. And I think that's where I'm going to incorporate my little face. So we'll see. We'll see how it all kind of comes together. And again, my little sail. <laughs> this is going to be tall, you guys. This brush is really long. Um, it's... 12 inches, so it's, you know, it's pretty long, pretty long. All right, so let's go ahead and let me glue this on here first because this is, when I saw this, I thought that this looked really nice like this. I thought that looked really nice like that, you know, overlap them. Just to give the bow some style. Give it a little bit of swag, if you will. <laughs> so it's not just like a blah kind of bow. <laughs> so um, let me go ahead and clean this up real quick in my brush. This is like a waterless cleanse. Add a little bit of water to that. Okay, that's as good as that's gonna get for now. So this is what I want to basically do. I'm gonna go ahead and glue those in place. Um, I was gonna use regular glue, but I think I'll just use hot glue so that I can get it started. Okay, so I'm gonna glue all of this first and see where everything is gonna kind of fall in. I think that's good right there. Let's make sure that's nice and sealed to the very top. Because I don't need to worry so much about this. I just need to make sure that it's nicely secured up there. And I think I'll probably wrap this around the front. Okay. I went with the glue gun and I added a whole bunch of texture to it to make it look like water. 
because I'm probably going to be like painting some of this blue. Maybe I'll secure it just a little bit down here. But I think that's going to look really nice. Go ahead and do the same with the other one. This one's actually shorter, I think. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, I'm just worried mostly about the top for right now. Maybe I'll paint the boat with this. I think that'll complement those colors nicely. So I'm probably gonna paint the boat, the boat or the ship or whatever you wanna call it with this one, it's called Inheritance. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think the little face, I wanna put it right there. So I'm gonna do that. Wherever I think the center is more or less. So that, glue this side, and we'll be done with this one pretty soon, actually. I don't think this is going to take too long to do. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm hoping and I'm praying that that little thing with the brush is going to work, because I don't even know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. We're going to try, you guys. We're going to try. Okay, so we have that. Do the same with the back and add and add a little piece this way. Right over here as well. And it's actually able to overlap quite nicely. So this is how the back of it is gonna look once it's all done. Here we go. Here we go. And it's super easy to make this. This was super, super easy to make. You just have to cut out two bowl shapes and cut a nice strip, whatever width you want it to be to go from one end to the other, you know, kind of wrap around with that curve. And that was pretty simple. Pretty, pretty simple indeed. Oops, so let's see. Okay. So basically I'm aligning that little bit right there. The end. There we go. The only thing is that the back one doesn't have one, so for the back one, I'm probably gonna put the flower. I only have one of those faces. I have to make more. I think it looks nice anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in your head, girl. You and mine. <laughs> Get out my head. All right, so we got that right there. And again, all of that glue that I added, that's just to give it texture. I actually started even painting over it, but I stopped halfway. <laughs> we'll see how it all ends up. I'm not really sure yet, so... I painted the inside as well. Remember, I triple thick this, so it wasn't really, um, it's very slick. It was very slick on the inside. So let's do this. Hello, hello, Dream It. Thank you so much for joining me on the last live of the year. 
I'm making a sailboat. I'm trying anyway. Oh my God, how am I gonna get this straight? <laughs> I gotta hold it in place, you guys. I'm using a, a brush that I turned into a silicone brush by forgetting to wash it after I used it in Mod Podge or Decoupage from Deco Art. And I turned my brush into a silicone brush, so I figured I'd use it, you know, <laughs> to attach my sail. Oh, yes, Liz. Hello, hello. Thank you, thank you. Those are just regular die cuts. Um, those are just, um, you know, just regular die cuts. You just have to use them in different ways, you know. That's what I like to do with them. I like to use them in, in ways that are a little bit unconventional. So it's pretty much stuck. <laughs> Look, it's like a lollipop. Now I have to paint all of this. I have to paint over that as well. And I have some textured, some... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I have some texture. what? What do I have? Let me see if I find it. Well, let me go start getting out some of my some of my galaxy glitters that I'm gonna be using today. Definitely some silver. Yum yum with those galaxy glitters, you guys. Oh my goodness. No purples. We don't really need purple. But maybe some black. I think I like that. I think I like that. I think that's pretty good for that. I don't need no red or nothing like that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe I'll just add like some glitter or something. We'll see. But I'm gonna go ahead and paint this um stick real quick. And paint the stick, you guys. Really, really quickly. And I'm gonna try to find my little texture rocks. I don't know where the heck I put them. <laughs> they gotta be somewhere. I'm gonna add some more glue over them because I just don't trust it to stay up forever. I really don't, you guys. So we'll see what's gonna happen here. So I just turned my brush into I don't know what they call this on a bit on a sailboat. What do they call this in a sail on a sailboat? Okay, we're from New York as well. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, so let me just add some glue in here and just really seal this off because I just don't trust that that's going to stay all the way together forever and ever and ever. And this is the part where you, if you have, I do have, I, no, I don't. That's not the bottle. That's not the bottle. You tricked me. You tricked me, little bottle. That was like it. I'm looking for my little texture balls that I took away from my daughter because she was smashing them. She likes how it feels when she crushes the little pumice stones. Found them. Just gonna add a few of them in there just to kind of cover up that debauchery <laughs> that just took place in there. So I'm just gonna do that, kind of like that. Let me add some more hot glue so that the rest of them can kind of attach themselves. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add more glue. I'm gonna add more glue so that these little rocks can attach themselves. You know, you guys know how that goes, right? That way, at least it looks like something, you know, something happened in there. Some good stuff happened in there. Let's add a little bit more over here. Okay. Let me just, just kind of move them in place. See, it's already going to the side. Stupid thing. 
How am I going to hold that in place? How can I hold that in place? You're going to have to. You're going to have to. You're going to have to make two little anchors is what you're going to have to do. So let me make two little anchors. I need something that will kind of keep this in place. Come on. Stay. Why won't you stay for me? What am I doing? Oh, I'm covering up the glue <laughs> by adding more uh, rocks. I have to add more because the stick is heavy. It's real wood, it's not plastic. So it's heavy and it's going to the side. <laughs> It's falling and I don't want to get up. So I have to make sure that it's straight. So I got to add more. Oh. I'm doing this thing caveman style, okay? That's what you do when the pole is loose. You surround it with rocks, right? So I'm going to surround my pole with rocks. Once everything is dry, I'll remove the excess. But I'm going to leave it like that for now, just in case. Right? Because it's going to wobble. Oh, I'm getting so frustrated with it already. Let's see if this will help. Punch a hole through it. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's why that's why I ripped this piece out because that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. Make some little make some little flaps. Um how long do I need? I'm going to cut out like a little notch. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> I have to uh I have to do all that extra stuff, all that extra fancy stuff. Okay, let's see. Yeah, ooh, 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 problem solver, problem solver, <laughs> problem solver, there we go, there we go, Eureka, I didn't really have to cut that slit in there, but oh well, it is what it is, now I got a whole bunch of rocks down there for nothing, but it's okay, it's all right, well, I need some glue, you need some glue, Carmen, you need some glue, all right. All right, so let me hold this one up. Let me get my rocks out of there. You don't even need my rocks. Get my rocks back. Okay, you kept enough of them, but at least you gave me some back. All right, let's see where we glue it out. Okay, over here. Yeah, I make a man. <laughs> yes, and this is how you troubleshoot. Troubleshooting one on one. <laughs> so we have our thing. Might not be the straightest in the world, but you know what? Our right side is bigger than our left side, so it's all good. <laughs> Just look at it from a different angle, okay? <laughs> all right, so we got that, and this is our sale. Oops, it is it. Oops, a daisy. I think I like it like this. And we're just gonna wrap. No, look what I have this so far, son. Look what I did. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna wrap this up right here. And I'm gonna paint this again. Because I put my fingerprints all over that thing. I'm just basically curving this eye. This is why you wanna leave, you know, some curve there. 
So I'm gonna hot glue this to the top and the bottom. Do what you got. Hugs, yeah, all day, all day, every day. Doctor Sabe, all day, every day. All right, so let's glue this in here. Let's glue this right there. Wait, no. I put my faces on the wrong side. I want it over here. Because <laughs> my face is in the front, so I want it over here. That way. Not the other way. I want it that way. And this is just cardboard, you guys. Nothing fancy. Let's see. So let's glue that back. And let's glue that there. And basically, I'm just kind of wrapping it around the pole. Is what I'm doing. I'll get rid of those extra chunks of glue. And I'm going to secure it there. Make sure that that's not going to go nowhere. And that's pretty good and held down. You hit my rocks. <laughs> Yeah, the rocks in my shit. <laughs> All right, so we're going to paint this baby for the most part. I'm going to run my glue gun all around this pole just to get rid of some of those extra, like, bumpy bits from when I peeled it off the first time. I'm going to do that. And then I'm gonna do it in the bottom as well, and just clean up your clean up, cleaning up the gluey mess. That's basically what I'm doing. Making sure everything is nicely sealed. All right, so that's good to go. Like I said, I'm going to paint my ship with this inheritance, and then I'm going to do the sail and glitter. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yes. It's going to look so nice. It's going to look so nice, I think. I think, yes. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some of this inheritance on here hopefully you guys are able to see well okay i hope powder doesn't come out like it's <laughs> like so thick there we go so let's use some of that and let's get an old little mix and crannies And I ripped some of the cardboard um, paper off to expose some of the ridges. So you can really see it nicely. I wanna paint the inside as well, same color. <laughs> Add more paint in there. And again, you guys, this is like a super easy boat to do. No fuss. You can make them in different sizes. Use them all over. And again, this is like a chalky paint, so, um, you know, it dries very matte. It's almost like a gesso, but it's not a gesso. It's still paint, but 
the fact that it's chalky lends itself to be very opaque and it covers up nicely. I'm trying to be done, you guys, within the next half hour. So let's see. Let's see, Carmen. Can you put some pep in your set? I hope so. Okay. I'm going to give this a quick little heat blast. Kind of went over where the rocks are a little bit. You guys can see that. Just kind of doing that. Okay. I still have the whole other side that is still white. So let's do this one. We have a whole bunch of glue hairs everywhere, of course. Always fun with the glue hairs. So I'm painting the whole thing in this tone first, and then I'm going to go in with some metallic colors and really brighten this whole boat up and make it look magical. It's not going to float because I made water. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot about the water. <laughs> hello, hello, Monica. How are you, love? I'm here making a sailboat. I use the paintbrush and cardboard. It's in die cuts. Now I'm just painting it. Painting it all. Okay, so we got that. I made my water. Right here I used um, trim and glued it all down. I found some pieces and kind of glued them all in. I'm just kind of having this to the side. This is going to stand up on top of this. So we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to get to um, add the lighthouses or not. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. So let me go ahead and clean this brush up some. And I'm going to start to add some of the other colors. And again, I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to be adding that exhibitor to the, to the stale. But I still have to figure out what kind of color I want it to be. I should just paint the whole thing yellow. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll paint the whole thing with this inheritance color. That way when I add, um, because those are transparent. The only thing that's colored on those um, uh, glitters is the glitter. So whatever color you paint, whatever you have in the background as far as the color is going to be what's going to show through. <coughs> so I'm just going to do this. Just to give it a base coat. And that way everything is kind of the same. Since I have so much blues and greens happening in the water. I'll fix the pole afterwards and paint the gold. But at least I have a base to kind of, um, you know, lay some of that gold paint on. And since it's a chalky paint, it'll give it some tooth as well, which works in my favor. This paint is really thick. Hello, hello, Sandra. Sí, sí, los, los latinos estamos aquí. Presente, presente, presente y reportando. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do this and just paint the whole thing in this, um, in this yellow 
kind of color. Which again, I'm using it more like if it was a gesso than for the actual color itself. But the color looks kind of good um, and it'll offset some of, you know, this green and stuff that I've got going on over here. And all this blue. Okay, so I think that's pretty good right there. Let me go ahead. For everybody coming in, this is the water that this is going to basically rest on. I'm letting that dry. That took place at the beginning um, of the live in case you're interested in how I did that. <laughs> oh no, Monica, that sucks. And at this time of the year too. Poor thing. Hopefully she gets better soon. Or he, I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl. Oh, you have all boys, right, Monica? I think you have all boys. Um, okay, let me get some metallic paint. And again, we gotta re reincorporate um some of these colors. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this teal and I'm just gonna rub it in with my finger basically. That's what I'm gonna do. And this is from Deco R and it's dazzling metallics. So I'm just going to kind of add this here in different little areas. So we have this yellow in the back and now we have this teal kind of um, showing through it. I think it looks really pretty. Taking off the little glue hairs as I go, wherever I see them. Let's go to the other side. Oh, the little flower broke. You see? This is why I don't really like working with those clay things because they all break. They all break. This will help it to kind of blend in a little bit in the bottom, like if there's actually water coming up over it, even though there isn't. See all the ripples now? It's like the water's cascading back down into the ocean, you know, from when the ships dip in and out. To that, add all of that in there. And we're just going to give this a quick little heat set so we can start adding some other colors. I like it so far, you guys. I like it a lot. Let's just give this a quick little blast. Nothing too, too strenuous. We're going to start at actually gluing this boat in place now. And then we'll figure out what we're going to do as far as the rest. I think that'll be the best way to go right now. I'll start painting. Well, that will be hard. You guys won't be able to see what you'll be able to do. You'll be able to see. All right. So this is how this is going to kind of go. Like so. And I want all these waves. These are my waves, okay? This is like uh, rippled, you know, one of those fabrics. Those trims, they have like all the little wavy bits. Yeah. I like that. And yes, my fabric is still a little wet. If you're wondering, it is still wet. 
but that's okay. It allows me to actually maneuver it. So I kind of like that. I like how that's looking right there. So I'm gonna hot glue that right there in place. I'm gonna add a whole bunch of hot glue here and hold it and pray. <laughs> What? Anxiety, why? Anxiety, why? <laughs> hello, hello, Claudia. What did I do? Did I do something? What did I do, peoples? I think that looks super cool, right? I think that looks super, super cool. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So let me start adding some of the paints up here and then i'll see what i add wherever else I'll, I'll add i'm probably gonna spray some color in here once this is like totally totally dry look at my hands is that why you guys got ocd because my fingertips is all blue <laughs> huh because my desk oh my goodness i'm okay this because this is all clean up but look you guys i'm ready i got the the hand sanitizer and everything right here i'm ready all right so let me go ahead and start adding some of this galaxy glitter onto and let me see if i can put something under here actually that'll hold itself so that you guys can hopefully see what i'm doing <laughs> i know but what can you do i mean come on guys it's like you know it's part of the job description At least for me, it is. That didn't help at all. <laughs> but anyways, I'm using this Aqua Meteor Galaxy Glitter Paint. And this is basically how I'm going to start um, kind of adding all of this glitter on here. And this is kind of like to match, you know, the boat. So I'm just going to kind of add it to different areas, different places. I'm going to be adding some of the other ones as well. Oh, Dios mío. So you don't want to like really rub it in too much. You kind of want to like just splotch it in there and just kind of lightly hover over it and see what drags. Because otherwise, you're just going to be swiping all of the glitter back and forth all over the place. So you want to be kind of ginger with it and then just kind of try to clean off the edges off of it because it's very loose and limber for the most part. But look how pretty, though. I know you guys can really see. <laughs> it looks crazy right now. <laughs> but it'll look better when I'm done. Okay? Believe me. Take my word for it. Let me dry it real quick so I can add more of the other colors. And I'll add some other paints in here as well. Like, I'm going to totally add some gold in here. I have to add some gold. So, come on now. This, this whole thing is screaming, add gold, add gold. So, I'm going to add some on the mermaid. Um, Maybe on some of the little octopuses that I have hidden in the water so that you can actually see where they are. Things like that. Okay, so that's that for the teal, which is actually called Aqua Meteor. Um, let me get some of this black one right here. This one is called Black Hole. So we're gonna try this. We're gonna, I mean, you guys won't be able to see it. So I should have I could have done this the other way around, but I was anxious to see what it was all gonna look like. So I'm gonna go over everything all over again. And just basically spread this glitter out as far and as wide as I can. Because what I could do is actually sit um, two little tea lights, one on each side from the inside. And I think that, that would look super cute. So if you're going to have it on the table, you can actually um, 
you know, make it some, make it useful. You could put some potpourri in there if you're into that. Um, and it'll make a nice little holder. I gotta do the same exact thing to the other side. I love this black one. It's like black and purple. It's really pretty though. Again, this is very loose, so you kind of have to sp spread it out um, as best as you can. Kind of tapping it into place so that it kind of just sticks where it wants to stick. But very pretty. You'll be able to see a lot better in the pictures when I take them. <laughs> So let's see, let's give that a quick little dry. That's the glue gun, Carmen. You can dry anything with the glue gun. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of like gold and stuff like that and other colors in here. Um, just to bring it out more, maybe darken it a little bit. Maybe I'll add some black or something. Just darken it up. Just a smidge, make it really stand out. I've never been on a ship, you guys, so I don't know how accurate this is. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see, you guys. We'll see. We'll see how it all kind of comes together. But I think it looks really, really cute so far. And it's nice and tall. So we're going to do the same thing to the back now and start from the meteor and land in the black hole. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. And basically, just spread that glitter out as best as you can. And once this um, paint dries, the, that glitter is sealed in place. You can rub that thing till your finger turns red, and that glitter is not lifting at all. It will not be flaking off. None of that. Because I've already played with this quite a bit. <laughs> And it doesn't flake off at all. It stays right there. I mean, you could just see how much glitter is left over just from cleaning the brush alone. Like, there's a lot. It's a lot of glitter in there. This. Hello, hello, Teresa. Merry Christmas, love. Look, it's already sailing. You see the wind is like, my sail's moving. The wind is catching it. All right. Again, I'm not going to OD too, too much with that. I'm going to keep playing with that um, a little bit more now. Once I start adding some of the gold and some of the other colors in here, I'm going to go over it again with the black hole. And we're going to do that. The back doesn't have to be quite as saturated as the front. Uh, add the rest of it to the stick, I might as well. Since I want to get on there anyway. Since they want to be nosy and get on the and get on it anyway, right? I might as well add some of this glitter to glitter all over the stick as well. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to add a little bit to the inside of the boat. This is the um, black hole is what I'm adding in here. Just for some sparkle. Especially if I end up putting tea lights in here, I think it'll reflect nicely because of all the different glitter inside. 
So why not give it a little bit of a boost, right? I'm just gonna put all of this glitter right in there. And again, just tapping it into place for the most part. Let's do the other side. And it's just to basically have something happening in there. Yes, it is. Very dimensional, indeed. <laughs> I thought it was only uh, right to kind of give you guys a glimpse of where I'm going in 2020 and the kind of things that I'm going to be attempting to create somehow, some way, things like this. Dimensional 3D all the way, which basically dimensional 3D means the same thing, but you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> So let's go ahead and dry that one more time. And then we're almost done. We just got to add some gold in here. Um, I'm going to glue those little trims, that, that little flat backs. I'm gonna add some of that galaxy glitter into the water as well. Before I forget. Before I forget, you guys, I wanted to add some of this into the water. So let me do that now. I wanted it to be shiny. That's right. I just wanted to add some of this in there as well. Just in little spots here and there. You go through this paint quick, you guys, through this glitter stuff, because it's so fun. You end up going through it quite, quite rapidly. I'm also going to add um, some of the other one, the teal, and I'm also going to add some of the gold because our ship is basically gold, uh, more or less. And some of this gold is reflecting onto this water. So we have to have some gold in it. So I'm going to grab this one right here, which is gold shooting star. And add some of that into it as well. And hopefully you guys can see the yumminess that I can see. Maybe not to the same effect in the same detail, but oh my goodness, you guys. I hope the photos show well when I take the photos. This is coming out so pretty. Well, I'm working on mines right now. And I think I'm pretty good. I achieved my last year's um goal so i'm pretty happy hopefully i can achieve this year's goal goal not gold goal <laughs> oh my goodness i love it i love it i love it i love it not too much just you know just enough it'll probably show a lot more now that i when i incorporate the actual gold into it so let me go ahead and clean my brush again, get most of this glitter off of here as much as I can. And we're gonna start actually incorporating some gold gold in here. And again, I'm gonna go with the gold that I'm loving at the moment, which is this gold paint right here is called Treasure Gold by Folk Art actually. Absolutely love it. So we're gonna use a little bit of that. And I'm gonna go painting my little mermaids and things like that. 
I'm trying to try to put myself at an angle where you guys can actually see what it is that I'm doing. Hopefully I can also see what it is that I'm doing. <laughs> I don't need the whole thing to be covered in gold. I just want it to have gold in it. There you go. Can you guys see it? All right, Claudia. All right, let me see where else is there another little piece in here. Right there. Right there, there's another little guy. Let's just go ahead and try to paint him in there. So that when you're digging through the waters and you're like, oh, there's a little guy in here. You can actually see him. A little octopus in here. Yep. And a lot of this is still wet, so those colors are kind of blending a little bit. Let's see. I gotta put my finger in it to see where the oh, here is the other one. You have the other little octopus right here. A little bit of that. Again, I don't need him to be totally submerged in gold, but I just want him to have a little bit of gold here and there. I hate the glue hairs, you guys. Go for 2020. Eliminate glue hairs. <laughs> yes, it is. It's beautiful. So we're just going to add a little bit more of this gold. On this little octopus, just to tell you like, hey, there's something there. Oh, I wonder what that is. Then you go searching and you're like, oh, cool, I found something. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the other side. And the other side has seashells right here. So let's just add a little bit of gold to those seashells right there. Just add a little bit of gold to that. And we have another little seashell right around here. And so we're going to add a little bit to that as well. And we have another one around here. So we're going to add a little bit to that as well. You get to find all these little hidden gems in here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely love it. We have another little thing right here. No idea what this is. Oh, it's an anchor. It's a piece of an anchor. And that's basically what I did with this. I used up all my little broken pieces so that they don't go to waste. That way we don't waste the material. That's what's awesome about mixed media. You can totally use stuff that's broken down. Um, okay, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and give her some gold on her face as well. Cover that eye. Make sure it's in those little holes. I'm just adding little bits here and there. Just 
a little bit here and a little bit there goes a long way. Go, go up in here, and add some to this pole. What time is it? Got five minutes, you guys. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna make it. Cause I'm just about done. Yes. I think I'm gonna make it to my um time. That's one of the things I'm gonna be working on next year is getting my time better, time management. That's always a goal for me. But I think I've improved somewhat when it comes to timing. So I shall continue to work on that. I want to wish everybody that was here and everybody else that was not here and watches this video later a wonderful, happy, blessed, safe, magnificent 2020. I want to say thank you all so, so very much for the support that you've given me throughout the year. I so greatly, greatly appreciate it. I look forward to continuing to support you as well in 2020. And also continuing to do things like this. Yes. Love it. Love it. And I'll be taking pictures of this probably later on once it's a little bit more dry. And I might add a few other things here and there. I don't know. It all depends what I find. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, gold paint to the sail as well. Just a little bit here and there. Nothing too major just to add to the sheen that's already on here. Maybe I'll get a little bit of the teal color and add a little bit of the teal color in there as well. Mix it in with that gold, just to give this a little bit more life. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then I'll be calling it a day. And oh my God, this will be the last video of mine for 2019. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it, but it is true. I'm very excited to see what next year brings and what you guys are going to all be creating and sharing and doing. I look forward to all of that. So let's see one more little bit of color here, a little bit more of this teal. And then we're going to be calling it a day with this. Oh, yes, I have to glue these, um, the pearls. Okay, glue in the pearls, and that's it. <laughs> then that's it, you guys. Then she'll be done. So I'm just going to add a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy. I don't want it to um, take away. So I'm just going to add a little bit here and there and just kind of rub it in place. It's just kind of to add just a little bit of um, color and texture, I guess. I'll share with you guys what it's looking like. Thank you, love, to you as well. Hello, hello, Dorinda. How are you? I'm going to rub that in. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I really like how this is coming out. I love how this is coming out, actually. I more than like it. <laughs> I more than like it. It's bad enough I like see themed things. <laughs> Say that four times fast. I think three times is too easy sometimes. <laughs> but, oh, my goodness, I really like how this came out. I really do. Oops, I added way too much paint there. Let me get my hands in there. And just kind of rub that out a little bit. Any hoots, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. So, this is how this part of it is looking over here. 
my flower broke, which is awesome, right? Just what you need for your flower to break. But it's okay. Just gonna cover that up real quickly. But yes. That's how this is looking right there. I made the stick with a brush. <laughs> hello, hello, Sue. Welcome, welcome. So hopefully you guys can see. We're not too far back. Yes, right? It totally does. I'm happy with it. I'm totally happy with it. And just to think that the boat was basically made from cutting out a bowl shape two times, you know, same thing twice, then a strip of paper. So basically three pieces for that. I used a brush, a paintbrush that got messed up because I left it in glue and it turned into a silicone brush. So that's what I used for that. I split the um I split the bristles in half and then I basically glued the bristles into the bite into the base of the boat um, in order to have it stand up. It was still a little bit wobbly, so to anchor it a little bit better, um, I used a piece of chipboard and basically just cut out a circle in the center. And I brought it to the top and just kind of fed it in and glued it in place. And now it kind of holds um, this part of it in place, which works out really cool. For the inside to create the water, um, basically all I did was use the fabric that was pleated. Um, so I used the pleated uh, lace trim or ganza kind of trim and glued that into place. Um, I went ahead and painted over that in white. And then I went ahead and I started to add some colors. I added some legacy, which is like a blue. Um, I added this color right here, which is called New Life, which is um, basically like a lime green kind of, almost like a sage looking color. Um, and these are chalky paints. And then I just kind of drizzled them into place and just kind of moved them around a little bit, spray some water um, and just allow them to kind of have a little bit of independence. I didn't want them to overly mix. Um, and I love the way that it looks. I love the ripples. And I think once this is all dry, it's going to be so, so nice. And then this is what the front of it looks like. And this used to be a four dollar canvas when I um, when I purchased it. It was on clearance, so I got it for like seventy cents. So for seventy cents, with some basically some flat um, flat rate boxes, you know that I got in the mail. Use that, did that. A broken brush, did that. Use some of the little broken pieces that I have from some of my previous molds, and we have it. Okay, dream big and set sail. Yes setting sail into 2020. And I look forward to doing other projects like this with you guys. If you follow me on Facebook and or Instagram, you guys are going to totally see these pictures once I set everything up and take them and put them up. <laughs> You'll totally see them. So probably it'll be tomorrow um, at the earliest once this is all dry. I might continue to do a little something, something. I might get an emblem and put an emblem right there, but I have to look to see what I have because um, I need to put them on both sides because this is going to be you can see it has got 360 view, um, but I love it. I love it. The only other thing that I have to do is basically add these little trims here, um, which I think I'm just going to do off camera. I'm going to let everything kind of dry really nicely, just in case I have to go back into it with any paint or do anything like that. I don't want to mess these up, but this is going to be the final outcome for this. It's going to be to add these flat back trims um, basically all around the base of, you know, the, the shadow box thing. <laughs> here we go. All right, you guys. Thank you all so, so much for being here again. Love, hugs, and blessings, abundance, and health, and all positive areas of your life coming into 2020. I look forward to seeing you guys. I hope you look forward to seeing me because I'll definitely be here. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.